Oh, good afternoon guys seems like it's been ages I've just gone for a walk now uh, the wife and kids have taken the car out so I'm very very fortunate that within a 10 minute walk of my house I've got a massive provision where I got two silvers recently um, as a lot of you are aware I've changed machine I've moved over I've gone from Garrett and I've gone over to mine lab uh, I'm currently using the mine lab safari and oh boy oh boy is it taking some getting used to the different tones the different discriminations it's gonna take me ages but I've got um, what I'll do is I'll get the machine now now I've dug a clump over I haven't actually found what it is yet but um, it was this is if you can see it's a high tone and I'm on the 37. Now, I've been told not to pay too much attention to numbers, uh, but to pay more attention to the sounds. Um, and obviously, it is something I'm going to have to get used to. Um, like I said, I've dug a few. I've dug three holes. One, I couldn't even find what it was. Um, let me get over here so you can actually see me. Uh, yeah, dug, yeah, one, two, three, I've dug four holes, I've dug a part of um, a belt clip, you know, like a strap, a spring-loaded clip that you'd have on horse straps and things. I've dug um, what looks like a, something lead, there's some information on there, there's a shape on there. Uh, to be honest, at first I thought it was a Roman coin, but not that lucky. Um, one hole I dug tracking signal, couldn't find it for love of money, but this one now, I'll uh, set the cameras down and we'll discover this one together, um, let's see if that's going to be in an okay place, uh, but no, like I said, I'm, it's, it's very warm, very humid, um, I'm really struggling to get the grips with uh, all the different sounds of this mine lab but I'll get there uh, let's have a look whatever it is is there uh, I hope you can see what I'm looking at but uh, that looks like a bit of tin or something what is that There we go. That was reading up at a 36. Uh, there we go, is the other bit of it. Yeah, part of another sort of horse strap thing. Um, but no, like I said, I'm on a new learning curve now from basically, you know, spending a year and a half using a Garadays 250 to using a mine lab safari I've even got myself a bigger spade at the moment because a friend of mine has just bought one car in and he said he's digging deep and obviously the little spade I had from JR stainless yeah, I'm gonna be making too much work myself so I think that's gonna have to go for sale and get something different with a longer spade so anyway I'll catch you all in a bit on the next signal Ta -da. Alright guys, oh boy do I feel like a beginner again, I feel like an absolute, someone who's just picked up a metal detector for the first time in his life, anyway I've got a, uh, what does reading a 33 um, on the coin and jewellery mode, I've skipped through the all metal mode, um, still a lot of confusion at the moment, uh, but this one's on coin and jewellery, it was reading a 33, quite a high tone, so hopefully we'll uh, see something together now. Let's see if I'm holding this in the right place so that you can see whatever the result may be. So like I said, it was reading a 33. Um, I may not have gone deep enough. Hold on. Yeah, I've gone deep enough. Uh, 
So let's see. I haven't dug a coin yet with this. So who knows, is this going to be my first coin as a mine lab user? In green. I got my first coin as a mine lab user. Uh, I've caught it with the digging knife by the looks of it. Very, very worn. Um, looks to be 1880 something, but the date has uh, gone, unfortunately. Uh, so I, it's obviously a Queen Victoria. Let's see what she looks like on that side. Yeah, young, young Queen Victoria. But there we go, my first coin with the Mine Lab Safari. And that red in at a 33 on coin and jewellery. Uh, and that's on the factory settings. Uh, mode that you'll get as soon as you switch it on. So that's not me going in and out of some preset settings that I've made. That's factory settings, coin jewellery, 33. So I'm just going to have a look to see whether there's nothing else in here. I've got to learn from mistakes as you go along because a few weeks ago I dug a cartwheel penny and uh, fill the hole in and a friend of mine went straight back and scanned over where that hole was and found another cartwheel penny so I could have had you know two cartwheels in one hole but my stupidity I just filled it in after finding the one because you never expect to find another one but anyway you do learn from mistakes there she is number one and I'll catch you in a bit right uh, another high tone uh, as well as I'm, re you know, reading the uh, display. It's coming in at a 30, between a 34 and a 35. So, let's have a look. Oh, God. These reeds make it tough. Okay. Yeah, that's one thing I'll say oh, with this compared to the AS250. I was running that with the 8.5 by 11 double D coil and I wasn't getting the depth that I'm getting with this. Yeah, this is my friend was was right. It does uh, run a lot deeper. Now, there we go. That goes to show. Now the uh, coin was a 33, and this rusty hunk was a 35. So uh, you know, I do have a lot to learn. So uh, oh, I'll catch you in a bit. Hi guys. Okay. Well, nothing much to show for it. Um, it read up uh, 20 on the display, um, and well, I'll show you the display, I don't know if the sun is affecting that at all. Can you see that? Uh, have a look there. Um, it's reading up at 20. 21, and it's quite a few pieces of lead so food for thought it's all a learning curve for anybody who's got one of these uh, but yeah 2021 and that was a load of lead so catch you in a bit right <clears throat> another high signal uh, it's reading up 31 show you the tone uh, it's not in the hole 
it's it's skipping all over the place to be honest so let's have a look together what this is then I just put my knee on a bloody thorn And what we have is there, I think. Yeah. And it is. Hmm. Interesting. I don't know what that is. I haven't got a clue. If anybody else does, where is it? Let me know. I'll just check the hole now to see if there's anything else. No, that's it. So I shall see you in a minute. Okay, guys. Whew, blimey, this is hard work. Digging deep. Um, this one is uh, showing a 37, very high pitched. Uh, so let's have a, have a look together. What we're going to get. Okay. I'll just set this here. God, I need to get fit. Okay, let me get the uh, machine to see where it was with me. It must be here. She's a constant 37. Turn around, change it from a 36 to a 37, but she's in there, whatever it is. So, let me be careful. we have is a piece of copper pipe so copper pipe ringing up at 36 37 I'll just check it again to make sure that there's nothing else missed uh, just to scan the machine over see if it's gone now yeah, that's it. Copper pipe. Lovely jobby. Not. See you in a bit. Hi guys, back in the house now, and I thought I'd do a bit of a roundup. Um, I've gone back over a couple of the videos I've just made um, that I took in the field, and when I was giving you readings that uh, were on the screen, uh, the camera was facing the screen, so you could see different to what I was actually saying because I had the glare of the sun. Um, affecting the plastic covering on the control box so obviously what I was saying during some of those clips as you saw um, with some of the clips themselves it was slightly different um, but I'll give you a rundown anyway this was one item that I didn't get um, on film it's lead um, it's got an odd shape to it There's that there. So if anybody's ever seen anything like this before, let me know. Because I'm boggled because it's the first one I've ever come across. Um, I'd say there's, if I had a pin or something, there and there, 
those are probably two holes so whether it's some sort of dress weight or something I don't know um, massive bit of copper pipe uh, another bit of copper pipe the horse harness clip thingy the other piece to it lead more lead that hunk that you saw this strange little thing it kind of reminds me of, of something to do with a watch like a watch winder or clock winder or something but I don't know I haven't got the foggiest um, this year I dug up didn't get it on film um, I don't know I, I think it's a heel plate of a boot a shoe um, I can't remember what the reading was so I was getting tired I was getting frustrated getting hot thirsty didn't take anything to drink with me but uh, yeah I'm positive that that is a heel plate of a boot or a shoe uh, what it dates back to I don't know because it's quite quite a narrow heel actually um, bit of tin and a massive bit of tin so yeah all, all in all you know I've enjoyed going out with the uh, the mine lab for the very first time um, yeah I won't beat about the bush confusion lots of it learning curve yeah it's gonna be massive uh, but it's a learning curve I can't wait uh, can't wait to get used to you know I think what I'm gonna do as well is uh, dig out some finds that I had with my garret I'm gonna put them in plastic little bags I'm gonna dig you know like a seven eight inch hole um, bury them scan over them with different settings uh, to see what what's going on uh, so the next time I go out then that you know familiar numbers may ring true I may even decide to discriminate against stuff like ring pulls but by doing that I might end up losing something important so it's a very difficult one so anyway hopefully you'll enjoy this it's not a classic video it's not one of my best uh, I'll give you a couple of shout outs Carwin I hope you're gonna get used to it so you can teach me I can teach you we can learn these together um, Gareth, Jan, Faye, David um, Lee Big Bird uh, Simon Stevie Kershaw uh, Kurt Franz Stealth Diggers hi guys and I will catch you all soon oh yeah Stefan in Germany, Trooper Bry. Oh God, here we go. Uh, anyway, that's it. I'm babbling on. Uh, I've said hello to the people that I can remember. My brain has gone to mush. And catch you next time I swing that, baby. Ta-ra.